today we are going to start our fourth grade optical illusion artwork. As you can see right here, we have a whole bunch of different materials that we're gonna need to create this right here. We're gonna need some Sharpies, we're gonna need a pencil, we're going to need some colored pencils, we're gonna need something to trace circles with, whether it be tape, if you have a circle stencil, if you have lids, <clears throat> and then if you have a ruler or a straight edge, we're gonna need to use one of those. All right, so, <clears throat> let's push everything aside. As you can see, <clears throat> we have our spheres and they're popping off of the page and we're going to be using a technique um, that creates this optical illusion that these spheres are popping off the page when they're really not actually popping off. Alright, so everybody's going to get a square piece of paper. That's the first step. And what you're going to do is you are going to trace one or two circles. Okay, if you want to try more than that, you can. Uh, for the time's sake for this demo, I'm going to just show you one. So I'm going to take my roll of tape and I'm going to make a big circle on this one. I'm going to trace it around like so. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to draw two straight lines. I'm going to draw a straight line through the circle. Okay, and then we're going to draw a straight line this way through the circle, almost creating an X. Now, to make it look like it's an optical illusion, like it's curving, you're going to take your pencil and you are going to draw lines that are curved, touching one point to the other point. And you're going to keep doing that. The more lines you draw, the bigger your grid. Okay? So the less ones you draw, the smaller your grid. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to flip it, and we're going to do the other side. You're going to touch this point to this point, this point to this point. And you want to make sure it's curved, and you really want to make sure that you touch the point. You want to take your time doing this. This should not be rushed at all. <clears throat> now you're going to flip it. We're going to work with this line. Okay, and we're going to be doing, doing the same thing. We're going to touch this to this this to this and we're going to curve these all the way around okay then we're going to do it to the other side touch this point and this point this point this point this point this point and we're going to keep drawing them until we kind of cover the entire circle and now we have created a sphere using this technique of our circles. Okay. From this stage, what we're going to do is we're going to take a Sharpie and we're going to um, outline everything in a Sharpie and we're going to actually color in every other space. We're coloring in every other space is because we are creating a grid, a checkerboard. Optical um, op art is very graphic. Right? So when we use black or white or a different color okay and we keep it very graphic and colorful and really really simple it makes it look like it's um, an optical illusion so you can uh, I want everybody to outline this with black sharpie first however if you feel like you want to do the grid color in a different color you can I personally like the color black and white I think it looks um, clean it's finished um, but it's totally up to you what colors you would like for your sphere. So you're going to finish up tracing all of the lines. Really take your time because if you um, mess up one of the lines, it's not going to make sense. Okay, it's not going to look like it's an actual sphere. All right, so I'm finishing up these lines. And what the fun part is, is we're going to kind of dot out every other line or every other grid so we're going to be doing this one and we're going to be doing this one and you can dot out a couple of these but we're going to be doing every other space like this and what you're going to end up doing is you are going to color in every other grid until the entire sphere is filled in with these spaces and it almost looks like a checkerboard like these pictures here Okay, so we're gonna actually color in every other spot. So when you do this, really take your time. Use um, the fine point Sharpie to really color it in. 
Make sure we don't have any white spaces, so we really want to make sure that we fill in every space. This is going to take a while. Um, it depends on how big your circles are. If you do multiple circles, it's totally up to you um, of which you would like. So what I want you to do now is I want you to draw out your sphere and make it look 3D and then begin to work on the grid. In the next video, we're going to talk about the background as well as how to add value to make these spheres like really pop off the page. If you have any questions, please ask.